hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you the distribution plot so let's drag the distribution plot over here and as the name of the plot it shows the distribution of data so let's create and then try to understand what it is showing all right so let's add a dimension um, and let's go ahead and add customer segment uh, it's an easy one and let's add a measure simple one which is sum of sales and now you can see there are four points uh, and it is showing a range and so entire range of the sales for these four customer segments so let me click on done and uh, here uh, the first dot point is indicating the first category small business uh, second category consumer third category home office and finally fifth one is a corporate so this chart is basically a very helpful in terms of understanding how overall the range of sales is that means the starting point till ending point what the range is and then the different dimension point so here the dimension we took was the customer segment and under customer segment you had four different values corporate home office consumer and small business it shows how these four values of this dimensions are present on this entire range and one can clearly figure it out that corporate is the one where which is at the top as compared to small business which is at the minimum and rest of the other two categories are also near to the minimum now we can make this chart even more complex after understanding this so we can click on edit and go to add and let's add the product subcategory now you see we have made this chart more complex so now if I click on done uh, for each of the product subcategory I have the range how the range is so first thing I can clearly see is office machine is the one which is leading this entire range followed by telephone and communication and at the end you have office furnish office furnishing so office furnishing is basically the one which is having the very less range that means products are pretty much uh, are within a very tight range as compared to office machine where there is a wide range uh, and this chair and chair mats tables this basically represent that there is a healthy range which is present and for each of the one you can see uh, that corporate is basically uh, leading in most of the cases and uh, how the different data points over, over the dimension is representing within this range so that's a quick idea about the range uh, chart um, how you can create it and how you can interpret, interpret it and how you can finally um, add more dimension and make it a little bit more complex for your easy data analysis so this this charts helps a lot to understand uh, the different categories that you have within the dimension and to understand the distribution of data like you try to understand from other charts for example box plot we discussed or histogram we discussed all of those are also useful in terms of uh, understanding the distribution of data but more on the statistical way but and this chart is uh, helpful in terms of more of a range uh, which shows a range of distribution and uh, how the different data points are on this range so I hope uh, this uh, you find it useful and I will meet you in the new video the new topic